another YouTube. It's Toon Fabricator here with yet another video. Today's video is going to be a 2D fidget spinner with all the kids are all obsessed with that mode. This actual fidget spinner is just going to be off the top of my head to be honest. I've seen a couple of videos out there and they're not great at explaining how to do it. So I thought I'll give my own version a try. So I'm going to dive straight in. So first of all you need to have your CAD screen in the 2D format. Again, I've covered that in a format in the video before this. And that is by setting a drop and annotation. You need to be in the top view to start your design. And to start off with, I've given myself a reference there and I've coloured it red. Again, I've covered that in an earlier video. So, set centre radius. This is going to be the centre circle of the fidget spinner. So I'll give that 13. I'm going to draw a line from the centre of this. Going straight up. I'm going to give that a distance of 25. Zoom in. Then of this line is going to be the middle of the top of the fidget spinner. I'm going to select circle, give that a radius of 13. I'm going to select circle again, using the top of that line. Now you can see why I've actually used that line, it gives us a good reference point. I'm going to give this radius of 10, circle again, radius of 9, circle again, radius of 6, and circle again, radius of 5. And now, now what I'm going to do is create a polar array of this here circle. So I'll go up the polar array, select, right click, this is going to be the bottom of this line here, this is the centre of the fidget spinner, therefore that is going to be the centre of the actual polar array, I'm going to select that, and there you go, it gives you all of these items. Next, as you can probably see, there's too many items in it, so all I simply do is go up the items, S3, Bob's Young. What I now do is press Explode and right click. And now you can see these items, instead of being one entity, since I explored them, I can now, if needs be, edit them separately. That's why I press Explode. Now I need the edges of the fidget spinner, I the shape in between. So what I need to do now, or the way I'm going to do it, is set the tan tan radius. Set that circle. Select that circle. I'm going to give it a radius of 14. And there you go. I'm going to do the same. Right click. Same again, clicking on the edges there and a right click. Now what I, what I want to do, do the trim function, select all items, right click and there you go. I'm going to start doing the trimming. After I've done this, you'll be able to sort of see the fidget spinner taking a little bit more shape. See, I'm just going around.
select these arcs and I need to make them one entity. What I simply do, after I've selected them one by one individually, type J for join, and they're all one entity. When I hover over, left click, you can see the full thing is selected. <coughs> what I'm now going to do is, is just select that outer circle. I'm going to copy it. Left click on copy, find a center point, try that again, select the center point, come in from this angle, not over that angle, because when I move over this line here, it will give me the center point of that circle, I'll show you what I mean. So if I come in from there, it's not showing the center point of the circle that I require. Hopefully when I go over this side, it should give us a center point. And there you go. Go back around. I go over the outer line of that fidget span there, the circular arc. And again, it's giving us that point right there. So, that is almost the basic shape of the fidget spinner design. I think in this video, shall I use it for this video? Yeah, I think I'll go ahead with this video. What I'm now going to do is, is just give a basic design of the actual item that you hold between your fingers. This part here. It'll not look like much when I'm done, but as I go into the 3D video, you find that it actually starts to make a little bit more sense. So first of all, I'm going to give myself a line, give it a one, then I'll zoom in there, I'll right click, I'll zoom in on it so I can see it a little bit better. Now I'm going to give myself a line, of maybe I don't know, Actually, need a little bit of help here. I'm going to copy this. I just realised. Use that centre. Starting to go a little bit pear shaped now, but just bear with us. I'll just delete that. From the center of that circle to the outside, 13, enter, and get rid of that, delete. Right, finally, start to take a little bit more shape. I'm going to copy that over, move it over from there. So let's see about there. Now, what I'm going to do is is select arc. First point of my arc is going to be there. Second point of my arc is going to be there. Zoom in a little bit. And it's just going to be rough. I'm going to trim. That bit there. And that there is going to be the start after I've rotated it in 3D, and that's going to be the actual circular piece here. Where you put your fingers on. Okay, so I think that'll do for today's video. My next video will be a little bit more interesting, but it's vital that like, you actually find out how to design your fidget spinner in 2D first before you actually move on to it being a 3D version. If you like today's video, Please hit like and subscribe, leave comments down below as normal. Stay tuned for the second part of this video which is going to be developing this into a 3D version. So I think that's it today for the Tune Fabricator. So that's me out. Thanks.